What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. Tommy, where are you going? Hanging out with you guys today. Welcome to the Fort Myers <laughs> RV Show. And with us, we got American Tom. Tom, how was your Tampa show? What do you want to say to everybody? The Tampa show was great. Thank you so much for checking us out. The rev display was beautiful as well as a lot of our others. Surprisingly good business. The pricing is wonderful right now. Tampa show was great and we are continuing that down here in Fort Myers this weekend. Perfect. What do you want to show us first? Well, always got to start with the American coach. Of right? course. So, Right here, we have an American Dream 45P, an incredibly unique layout. There's a few things that really make this one special, and it all starts in your kitchen area right up front. What's going on? Let's go ahead and take a look. And this actually was one of the best years for American coaches, wasn't it? Yes, it's actually the most American coaches that have ever sold at the Tampa Super Show. Um, incredibly. Looks like your batteries are kind of low. Yeah. Yeah, we're out here without generators, but you can still see a little bit of what you have going on here. This new floor plan is unique for two reasons. Number one is this buffet style table. I love that. That's love cool. This. You got the big picturesque window right there. These are all Cambria Quartz countertops, really high quality, as is everything in the American coach. Oh, there we and go. The second thing is this wonderful master suite back here. So this is your walk through half bath. Okay. And as you go to the back, you have this huge master suite. Um, side by side washer dryer there on your right. You got the dual vanities in the oh. back, a closed off water closet, and you're gonna have to hop in this shower because it's like okay. the biggest one. Come on, Will. This is probably the biggest one. This is a huge shower. Get in there, Tommy. <laughs> Come on, Tommy, get in there. <laughs> you probably give us in a day. Hang on, you hold this camera. <laughs> well, watch out, well, watch out. Look, I'm just trying to show you, this is a big shower. It really is. But like, all jokes aside, Tommy could definitely fit in there. We like, probably could, yeah. We just want to demonstrate how freaking big this shower is. All one piece tile, look at the flooring and everything. Yeah, what's well, more like a custom tile. It looks so nice, I love it. And like, the accent and everything. Yep. That's cool. And there's actually, there's tile throughout the whole coach. The entire floor, so. Heated floors all the way front to back too. Yeah. Perfect. Let's on to the next one. On to the next one. Um, also here at the show, huge discounts on American Coach. We still have some inventory, even though we sold so many in Tampa. Yes. So this has what I think is five hundred thousand dollars or something like that. Damn. Wow. Tommy, what's your selling number for everybody who's watching? Five six one three four eight four two three one. We sell all the different types of RVs. So whatever it is you're looking for, I'm sure we have something that's exactly it or like it in stock hit me up perfect and you don't even need to be down here in fort myers send tommy a text click my link down below we got a internet team who's always ready and able to help you and then tommy what the heck's this next to us this next one is this a fleetwood discovery lxe this is a holiday rambler armada now what is the difference um well, we call this one an Armada and that one an LXE. Yep. Um, they're made on the same line. If you really want to know the differences of it, the main difference I see is in the front cap. You have a little bit different decor and styling for your front cap in the um, Holiday Ramble product as it would compare to the Discovery. But feature-wise, um, appliances, components, functions, it's all the same. And this floor plan, the 44B, is a real crowd pleaser, especially if you have a big family, because this is a rear bunk bunk house layout let's take a look and again 95 99 percent of it's going to be the exact same now if you truly must have the fleetwood discovery lxe you can pick it up at our tampa store That's one right. you can pick up so you can only get fleetwood and ocala yes you can get fleetwood and holiday rambler both right. in tampa or you can only get holiday rambler in fort myers that's right, as but well it's, as our other stores, we're a big supporter of the Rev product, one of our favorite ones, both in quality, value, and serviceability, so we love them. Let's take a look. Okay. Beautiful, beautiful, Tommy. So amongst bunk houses, what makes this floor plan so special is that you don't have to give up your living room to get those bunks. Right. So usually what you see is a couch and a dinette and mm -hmm. that's it with this layout you get the couch with the pullout bed mm. the drop down bed the theater seating right across from your televisor, a big u-shaped dinette there are so many places to sit in this thing you can grab, grab, grab the camera tommy bring. come on will look at this tommy we don't need you for this part <laughs> so, i mean this is good P plenty of gut space and everything oh yeah this table does move around if you want to have somebody th sit there but this is really big and spacious and it's actually practical it's actually practical. It is. There's so many dinettes. Like, it's all like, oh, yeah, you can sit four. It's like, let me see you sit four people. Right, you know what I'm saying? Right. This is actually very comfortable and nice. 
But the real unique part of this, of course, we're going to pass by your half bath, residential fridge, yeah. washer dryer, lots of storage in here. So there's a lot of features in here that make it great. But what's really special is right here in the back because we have this bunk room in the back that has two twin size beds. You can also put this up and use this as a full closet. That's so I've cool. seen a lot of folks use this area for multi-purpose. Yep. I even had one lady who got one of these and made an office out of it. A little uh, window yeah. right out the back. Very smart use of space. And even a bigger shower here. You know, th this unit is one of my most viral TikToks because I started the videos by saying, would you let your kids sleep in the closet of this motorhome? Yeah, I remember that. <laughs> yep. And it took off. But but let me tell you, I mean, it kind of seems silly that it's in the back closet, but it's completely separate, completely out of the way. Now, in my opinion, this isn't going to be the unit that you're going to want to full time with your kids in because then they got to come through your room to go, go right. to their bedroom. But this is perfect for the grandparents who sometimes have their kids that come with them. Now they have their own little yeah. space and it's not taking up. 30% of your motorhome. Absolutely. Now, I want to throw in one thing. If you are going to full time, the 40P is the floor plan. Mm. You're only saying that because you helped design it. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> cool. Let's take a look at the next one. Okay. I think we actually have a 40P here. We might walk by one of those. Oh, man. Oh, you've never shown anybody the 40P on the show, right? Or I don't you? think so. Perfect. Here's another American Dream. That's a 42P. That one sold yesterday. Yep. Here's a 44LE, which is the same floor plan as that one, except it's a, a little bit of a bigger bathroom in the rear, and it doesn't have that rear closet. And you can see we have a phenomenal price on that one as well. Yeah, so, let me show this price and the floor plan. It's got that huge bathroom in the back with the round yeah. vanity. That's huge nice. Shower. It's a really nice one. Now these next two, I have a 40M and a 38W, um, Armada and Endeavor here, with them, which have basically the same floor plan. Which one do you think you... Which one do you want to show everybody, Tommy? D Tommy, this is your time. Okay, okay. You know what? I want to go to the Armada. Okay. Um, now, same floor plan, but... Now, hang on. How much difference are we talking? We're 349 talking... to 319, so 30, 30 bones. But for oh. that... You okay? 30, yeah, I'm good. For that 30,000, what you get, you get the bigger 24,000 pound rear axle, you get the 380 engine instead of the 360, so you get that extra 350 foot nice. torque. Nice. The Gerard style awnings, mm. yep. upgraded paint, bigger inverter, roof ducted air intake. So that 30,000 seems pretty cheap when you start looking at the differences. You're a good salesman, Tommy. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know who else is good? Who's that? Your brother's really, really yeah. good as well. Oh, uh, yeah. Which one? Well, both of them, or all of them, okay. the whole the whole Bennett clan. But uh, your brother was talking to a customer yesterday about the V8 first, the V10. Mm -hmm. He was like, well, no, just go under there. And you can see that they actually lowered the V8 18 inches. So, of course, it's going to give you more horsepower because it's less torque differential. And he said that, and I'm like, dude, that is like the smartest thing I've ever heard. I actually learned that from him. Yeah, because he's like an off-road guy. He is, yeah. It, but he said it in a way where I felt stupid for not knowing that. And he's like, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they lowered it 18 inches. In the what would you were, expect? What would you expect? And I'm like, yeah, what would I expect? <laughs> he so, did. yeah, he's, we're, dude, the whole better clan is smart. <laughs> it's what the family does. It's, it's so, a family business. Now, this Armada is by far the most popular floor plan in volume. Tell and the me reason why. why 40 feet long, and that's real 40 feet one inch tip to tip, and it has everything in it to make you uh, able to full time or long term camp. You have the opposing couches, theater seating, televator, drop down bed, table and chairs, a wonderful kitchen. Look how wide this is with the pull. Yeah, it is a great kitchen. Yep. Dishwashers even built in there, and I like how they recess the cooktop too to give you extra counter space. Yep. And this is Let a bath and a half room. floor plan, okay. so you got the half bath here. Okay. His and hers closets, lots of drawers, and really what makes this one stand out is this wonderful master suite back here. You got the dual vanities. Yeah, it's very nice. There's storage everywhere in here, and then a fully tiled shower, just like you see in the American Coach. Yep, looks very nice. Also washer dryer here in the back. Cool. There is nothing missing in this floor plan, and it sits at a real 40 feet long. So for folks who want to keep it from getting too big, they don't want to tag, but they want all of those same high-end features, Yep. this is it. There you go. Yeah, nothing's better than an American coach. But you'd say these units probably, 
outsell them three to one, four to one? What would you say? I'd say probably closer to four to one. And wow. a big part of that is in how much more affordable they are. Yep. And the fact that this has everything you need and more. Yep. Um, and it's the same quality of construction, just lacking some of the really high-end features you get in the American coach. Now, yep. here's what's exciting, especially now in Florida. We sell Tiffin. We sell Newmark. We sell Integra. We sell all the brands down here. Uh -huh. Again, maybe not at the Tampa store, maybe not at the Ocala store, but somewhere in Florida we can we can get you covered. But I say dollar for dollar, the best value is always going to be in your Fleetwood Holiday Rambler products. Why is that? Well, <clears throat> it's a long, long story here, but I think that the 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 pricing on some of the competing products, things like Tiffin's, New Mars, even the Integra's at times. And again, um, we sell all of them. Yeah, so we're, not, we're not being biased. They have continued to increase in price at a rate that I'd say is more significant in some of those brands than it is in Rev. We saw it in COVID where we were able to keep things pretty under wraps. Mm -hmm. um, and then another big part of it is just the mass purchasing in our relationship with Rev that we have. We buy so many of these in cash up front oh, yeah. that we can afford a better deal on these RVs, which means better deal for you down the road as far as discounts go and everything else. So I, I really think that the, having a lower margin and then also being more aggressive on these products creates a difference in value that is so significant. I mean, you line these things up in one hand or the other, say like a Numar and a, and a Rev product. Yep. And you might look at something with the same features and quality and, and, and everything looks about the same. These RVs should cost the same. It's $100,000 more in a new mark. Yeah. So it's, it's crazy. really hard to validate. And on top of that, I've had such a great experience with Rev, working with them for 10 years now. Their service is spectacular. Their components are all top notch. The quality control is, is wonderful. Parts work great. I don't see a reason to spend the extra money um, to get basically the same thing in fact i think there's some things that rev does better the chassis yeah. the technology it's all there cool now, with that said if you do decide on Newmar, call tommy tiffin call tommy whatever you decide on reach out to my team reach out to tommy anybody in general because again we do sell all the brands it's just there's pros and cons to all of them and we'll be able to talk to you about them with all of them absolutely and understanding those little differences can really make you feel more comfortable about the purchase you do make regardless of what brand it is we're familiar with all of them let's cool. take a look at some more we got a lot more to show everybody so i think we got one more armada that I really want to show you. oh man yep this so is so we got we got a nautica 259 okay that's the 34 rx and then this is the one that Tom Bennett helped design. Nice. So tell us a story about this. So this is the uh, 2024 Armada 40D. In 2016, the 40G Discovery came out with a V-Ride axle. So they added that big 24,000 pound rear axle. And I told him, I said, there are some flaws with the 40G floor plan. Now that we got this axle, why don't we add an extra slide in the bedroom, yep. flip the bed, add some more space right there. The engineers over at Rev took a lot of time. They took their sweet time with it, but they eventually were able to make it happen. And it has really taken a floor plan that's been a top seller for, what, 15, 18 years since the 40G came out? I think it came out in 2008. And made it into something that is perfect for a Shows family Shows what you mean on the inside. Now, amongst bunk houses, typically what you see, I mean, we saw one with the bunks in the back, but typically what you see is a side bunk that's kind of in your right. hallway. Right, right. So you don't get a lot of storage, maybe a couple little drawers, you don't get a lot of space to it. Um, what you do get with the 40P here, though, is an actual bunk room. Show us. Nice. Three different door systems. What you have here... Which closes off. That's you get cool. The same kind of closer here. Yeah. And right here, make this its own bedroom. Yep. For your your kids, and then right here you got storage. You have these big areas right here, six foot wide bunks, and having their own space. Um, and at forty feet, if you're full time and you have more places you might be going to, it's really the perfect combination of um, usability for a small family. Yeah, this is a really cool floor plan. And then something you, else I love, yeah, what you changed as well. Something I love about this one too is just the instead of having couches across where everybody's kind of yep, in yep, need, this rides really well. It's comfortable to take a road trip in. Nice. And what were you saying, Matt? Oh, uh, you changed the bed placement as well, right? Oh yes. Um, as we came to the back here, we added this bedroom slide, 
and we moved this bed, which used to be here in this slide, okay. over to this side. So it nice. made it much easier for us to walk right into this area. It also opened up the storage here in the back to give you this full length closet. And then all of these drawers that you have right here too. Yep, I love it. This one is optioned in with the uh, bedroom fireplace. How cool. cool is that? Yeah. You know, it's funny because um, American Coach and Rev Group, they really, they really appreciate Tommy's feedback because Tommy and his brothers and everybody at General RV they're on the ground floor and they hear what the customers want. You know what I'm saying? And so for them to actually listen to the people on the floor, that's really, really huge. Because we hear it straight from the customer's mouth on what they want and what they're looking for. Definitely. They're a company that really uh, is trying to make sure everybody's really happy with their product. I mean, who wouldn't, right? Yep. Um, but I do like how responsive they are to that kind of thing. We do have a few more brands here. Winnebago, some Coachman, some Thor. We're going to take a look at those in just a second. But first... Let's give a big shout out to the sponsor of today's video. It's officially 2024 and that means it's RV show season. Hundreds and thousands of people across the country are gonna be buying and trading in their RVs. And it doesn't matter if you're looking at an entry level travel trailer or a top of the line motorhome. One way that RV manufacturers love to save money is by putting in a cheap mattress. And that's because they know that you're just gonna take the mattress out and replace it anyway with something that fits your sleeping style. That's why we partnered with RVMattress.com, a Brooklyn bedding company. They saw a huge opportunity in the industry to make custom sized mattresses that are perfect for RVers. They're able to cut out the middleman markups because they have a factory in Arizona. And what that means is they're able to give you the highest quality mattress at a factory direct price. Not only that, they do free shipping and 120 night sleep trial guarantee, and they'll ship it straight to your house or campground. I've been using my mattress from RVMattress.com for two years now in both my Class C motorhome and travel trailer, and I absolutely love it. Click our link down below and check out their website and use promo code MATT for 25% off your order. Thank you so much to RVMatches.com for sponsoring today's video. Let's continue the video. And we're back, Tommy. So now we so, have the Winnebago Forza 34T. Now what's really unique here is that this is a 2023. Ah, I didn't even notice that. I was seeing the 219.995 and I'm like, man, that's, that's, that's really good. That almost sounds like a gas motor, huh? Right. But instead you're gonna go to a Freightliner diesel. You got the big wheels and tires, airbag suspension, air brakes for a price that is just incredible. Let's take a look. And what's really nice about the 34 is that, well, it's 34 feet long. You can take this to more places. It's gonna be really simple to park. Yep. I think even the big ones are easy to drive. But, yes. Uh, parking, of course, gets easier the smaller you get. You got a nice uh, TV right across from your theater seating here. Good four-seater dinette. Well, maybe two to four. Right. Um, with this fixed... Four Tommies or, t or two Mats and Wills. <laughs> you get the fixed um, peninsula here, so lots of counter space, residential fridge. Single bath being 34 feet long. Of I'm course. That out right there. There you go. Very nice. Space for a stackable. Actually, this one already has it. And then a nice big closet here. So folks who want to stay with a smaller motor home. Yes. Um, but get the benefits of that Freightliner chassis. Mm. Um, there's a really good bang for your buck here. 219 for a diesel. You don't see that anywhere. Nope, not at all. Not even sports coaches are selling at that. I think they're at like 229 at the uh, show. I yeah. think they were. Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, everything's kind of going up, up, and up. So to save money when you can on a 2023 sometimes There's makes a ton of sense. Still, only a couple. This is a 2023 right here too. That's a 28W, yeah, 239. Mm -hmm. Now that's the one with the bumps. Perfect. Let's take a look at this. Um, this is the new Vista, the 34R. Very interesting floor plan. Um, also, I love this color. Yeah. Yeah, it is nice, especially with the black. Yeah, it's a good contrast. Usually yeah, they're is. going very light, like that Armada was. Yep. 159.9. This is a floor plan that I think we've seen in a few other brands. Watch your step, Will. Or at least something similar to it. But what makes this one a little unique is instead of going theater seating, couch, dinette, they went theater seating and then huge, right. huge dinette. Very unique. That's pretty cool. It makes a big bed, too. Got the big TV right there, windows on both sides, nice fridge. 
big kitchen. Nice countertops, too. And you get the walk-through bath. So okay. in a lot of these, you just have that side bath. This gives you a little bit better accessibility um, and great storage. So for a 34-foot long motorhome, we really got some long-term capabilities here. Lift up the bed, Tommy. Bada bing, bada boom. Look at that. Check it out. Now this table will fold down too, and it's a pretty cool little setup that you can use. Now where have I seen this before? Coachman Encore. That's right. Yes, sir. That's right. Love that, and I love how Winnebago copied Coachman, but also at the same time put their own little flair on it, making it a little bit different, you know? Yes, very smart. Those Coachman folks came up with something good, and Winnebago saw it. Why not? Hey. I don't, I don't get mad at that. Here's what I get mad about. When somebody copies somebody 100%, like, come on, man. But when you take something good, you, you see that the market likes it, and then you tweak it a little bit and make it even better. That's how you get innovation in the RV industry. Speaking of innovation, oh, we got some real good innovation right oh, across yes. the way. I, the first time I saw this was your video, and I loved it. That was a great video. You subscribe to our channel, Tommy? Of course I do. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Yeah, we were we were fortunate enough that um, I saw Bob Green at the store, and I'm like, "Hey, Bob," I said, "Um, can I go? Can I go to the show and film this?" And he's like, "Man, you can film anything you want. If anybody has a problem with you filming, you tell them that I said it's okay." And I'm like, "Well, thanks." So, that, so I got VIP first access to the Euro. What the heck's going on here, Tommy? Now things are a little different here. That's for sure. This has some European styling styling in the Coachman Euro that I think is very unique, um, but also very modern, uh, very comfortable, and very smart in how they designed it, too. You know, they were going for something a little smaller, a little bit more easy to get around with that same kind of European styling. Not a lot of slides are popular over there as well. They only have the one slide here, but it's right where you actually need it. Yep, in that king size bed. Really smart how they put that together. Uh, full body paint job, obviously some great features in the technology, those drop down mirrors like mm -hmm. you see in the American coach, you know I'm a fan. Oh man. So let's take a look. Now I thought this was a really unique thing here. So instead of using the space for that big dinette to put the captain's chairs with this like movable thing here, it's almost like you got a four seater place here where you can play cards and something like it's that. It's very European, that's what they do in Europe a lot actually. Yep, th this style. I like it a lot. I think it's very smart use of space. And really, you can hang out in this thing pretty well on a long road trip. These big windows are amazing. Yep. I've seen these before somewhere, I think. Oh, yeah. Kind of uh, looks like a Brinkley a little bit. Kind of does. Um, you have the 73V8 here. So for this size. Time out. Is that your brother's leaving? Yeah. Are, are they looking for you? I don't know, maybe. Hey, Dan. Daniel. Daniel. Come over here. Come on. <laughs> he's turned right around. Dang, dude. He's like, yeah, you can Uber home. Yeah, he'll come back. Or he's, he's, he's checking to see if that porta potty's prime boom position. <laughs> yeah. Um, moving to the back here, after you have the, the nice space you have up front, check this out. Too. Look at that. Cooktop. Not only that, residential like style cheese. fridge. Yeah. Not Good only that, here. the dishwasher I love. Huge storage. For 25 feet, this thing is really, uh, really flexible. Nice bathroom too. Look at that shower. Yep. Yeah, it's a 24 by 36. But again, for a small motorhome, looks big to me. Yep. Um, Undermounted sink looks really nice. This backlit um, mirror mm. that looks great too. Do you think that's prime? No, I, I know it's not a prime position. <laughs> yes, yeah, yes. Yeah. And a king size bed here on the yeah. slide out. Perfect. Let's continue on. I saw that other adventure. Okay, let's skip this, and let, let, let's go to my favorite Class A gas, which is that 325 SS. Favorite one. This definitely is a winner. The few things about this that I love, love, love. Talk to are me. The fact that you have the double awnings. Yep. Full wall slide on the other side. Yep. You get the outside kitchen. This Two. This is like the perfect tailgater RV. Absolutely. Great storage. Good you storage. On a pretty small platform. Yep, and you still get the 22s, still get the 22s. you still get the alcohol rims, and you get the Asdell. You got it all. Coachman does a great job with this one. 149 with full body paint. How you doing? Well, we used to have these for, what was it, 169? Yep. And for a while, 149 with full body paint. Right. But 149 used to be no paint. Yep. Um, 
in here. Come on in here, layout. Will. The slide is long. The slide is also deep, so your living room area here, very comfortable. Look how big this dinette is. Right. Big old dinette. Nice soft closed drawer there. In the kitchen, you got the farm style one single basin sink, which yep. is really nice. A little flip up that. counter. Comfy. What I like is that skylight. I do here. like that skylight. And you can close it off as well if need be. Oh, it's electric. I yeah, forgot. Yeah. Button over here. And again, I'm looking directly at my TV, fireplace, entertainment center, everything. Yep. The only thing that kills me about this motorhome is the bathroom. You don't like it? One, I don't it's like the tight, door. It's tight, I know. Two, we don't like the radius shower. Three, it's not a prime poop position. But you ready for this, Will? Yeah. As much as I say all of that, I'd still buy this motorhome. Yeah. Because that is the only imperfection. And guess what? It's all doable. It is. But everything else about this motorhome is fantastic. And have Tommy shows you what, what, what goes on back there. Okay. Well, first, you got this massive pantry. Yep. I, mean, I love like that. Big, look how deep it is. Yep. Space for a washer dryer right here. Stackable, too. too. bad somebody already put this up for us. We lost it. Yeah. Oh, man. This is the original. Oh, they came up with this idea. It's genius. Instead of the little table here, they've got the actual full-length mirror, space for your shoes. Just a very smart use of space. It is. I love that so much. Lots of storage here for a small motorhome. This has some real long-term capabilities. You can take this thing anywhere. Yep. Perfect. Tommy, we got time for one more. Uh, so we're going to skip the Holiday Rambler gas motorhomes. So you want to show everybody that Thor Illuminate right across the way? Oh, yes. One of my favorites. Oh, and we have Windsport here as well. We got a 35 inch Windsport and a CC35 Luminate. Hey, nice. Hey, hey here, here's the brother. Here he Daniel, is. Daniel. Oh. Hang on. This is Daniel Bennett. Hey, how's it going? So, first and foremost, I call them Woody and Buzz Lightyear. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> With the cowboy boots. Yep. Daniel, tell everybody about the V8 versus the V10. Well, the V8 versus the, the V10, there's it's 30 more horsepower, 68 more foot-pounds of torque, but there's a, a few technical differences. It sits lower in the chassis, which gives the drive shaft and everything a more streamlined process. And you're getting more of that power that you're, you're not losing in funny angles in your U-joints and things like that as well. Um, there's also a lot less engine harmonics as you're traveling down the road. You feel a lot less vibration through the steering wheel, through the chassis, and and everything else involved all the way around, really. Damn, dude. So if, you, if you're like, man, forget Tommy and you want to work with Daniel, what's your cell number? 813-323-7300. <laughs> Dang right. I'm, I know some people are like, Tommy, don't answer my phone calls. I'm not looking at an American coach. <laughs> Daniel will answer your phone calls. I will. <laughs> Call me anytime. All jokes aside, any of the Bennett brothers are going to take amazing care of you. Anybody at General RV, but yeah, the Bennett's, you know, it's a whole family affair here. Show us the uh, Luminate. So this is the CC35 Luminate. Okay. Um, what I like most about this one sec. layout. Sale price 149.9. Sorry, didn't mean to cut you off. This is a 35 footer with dual opposing yeah. slides. Really opens things up. You got the theater seating and the couch right here. Yep, pulls it's out awesome. Full length bed. And, and a, a U-shaped dinette. And a drop down. Right, and it's so open and spacious in here. I love that. You got a dance floor in here. It's yes. fantastic. I've actually seen a lot of folks who are considering bunkhouse um, motorhomes switch over to this one because of the extra sleeping you get in this bed yep. and having the drop down without having to give up all that space. Right, makes sense. Bunks. Yep. It's kind of your in the middle coach, mm -hmm. but giving you some benefits that are excellent elsewhere. You still get a great kitchen here. This has a Firefly multiplex uh, wiring system, okay. which is really easy to use. So even if you're a first timer, it's going to be so simple to just hop in here and be an expert. Nice. Um, your bathroom here in the middle. Huge shower. A huge shower, it really is, yep. And then nice sink and countertop and everything. Great toilet placement. Nice single bath set up here. Look at this fridge. This thing is fantastic. Let's unlock it right there. And huge nice side, side by side, side fridge doors. Space for a washer dryer right here. Love it. Lots of storage built in, good space all together. This motorhome really has it all. And it's on the 22,000 pound chassis. It has a built in steering stabilizer stock on the front nice. rear axle, full body paint, 50 amp with the multiplex. It's a really good bang for your buck. Mm -hmm. um, let's look under here just to see what we got going on. A little bit of storage probably. Oh, uh -oh. A little bit of storage. There you go. But I gotta say, if I have to say there's anything I don't like, 
I would like to see that that full length mirror set up. Right, that'd be cool. Or something like that. Well, yeah. Definitely pros and cons with whatever you're looking at. Sure. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But Tommy, thank you so much for joining us in Fort Myers. Sorry for giving you uh, giving your brother some love. <laughs> I know you Bennett's always like to, you know, outshine each other. <laughs> How many people in the family do you have working here? Well, we got me and Dan, we got Tucker, Dylan, and Jonathan. Dang, dude. And then what about your uncle? Is he no, no longer here? Um, he doesn't work with us anymore. He's up north working for a different RV dealer. Okay, okay. But still, I mean, five out of the six, you know what I'm saying? There you go. Hey, it's, 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 the, it's the RV industry. It's the family industry. You know what I'm That's saying? Right, yeah. Tommy, what do you want to tell to America? I always just want to say thank you for checking us out. We love to do these videos, but I think what I like most about it is being able to help folks um, learn about these RVs. I, I'm no celebrity. But I, I meet a lot of people that do these RV shows. Me, I'm not a celebrity, dude. I meet a lot of people out here who who say thank you for showing us those videos. We really appreciate what you do, and it really makes me feel happy. So I just want to thank you for watching, and for having an interest in something we all know and love, RVs. Perfect. If you guys are interested, Tommy, once again, what's your phone number? Five six one three four eight four two three one. Give me a call. You can't bug me. And if you guys don't want to do that and you want to work with somebody from my internet team, click our link down below. It doesn't matter if you go in store, you contact online, you text Tom directly. Us at General RV, we are always here to help. And again, we can't sell you Fleetwood in Fort Myers, but we can't sell you Holiday Rambler in Ocala. We can sell both in Tampa, or you can buy a Fleetwood in Ocala and get it serviced down here in Fort Myers, or you can buy a Holiday Rambler in Fort Myers and get it serviced in Ocala. There's one thing that we are, and that's General RV. We're not a single location dealership. We don't care what you buy or where you pick it up from. We just want to make it the path of least resistance to you, and we're going to make sure that you get a phenomenal deal. Anything else? You hit it right on the head, man. Thanks so much, Will, for uh, recording us today. Of course. And uh, thank you to Mother Nature for meeting my expectations in Fort Myers and making it <laughs> extremely humid. <laughs> Thanks so much, guys. We'll see you tomorrow where we wrap up the Fort Myers show and take a look at some awesome travel trailers.